What is up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys don't know me. My name is Ten. I'm currently a second year medical student. Um, today I'm going to talk to you just a little bit about just five mistakes that you're probably making while you're using Anki. And these five mistakes are some of the bigger ones that I made. And that's why I want to talk about it when I was started out using Anki. So just remember that Anki is a tool and you want to just use it as a tool because my, you know, you don't want to let Anki run your life because you don't want to get you you the master and Anki is, is just a tool. You want to maximize its usefulness while remaining effective with your time. So let's get into it, guys. So the first mistake that I see people making is just not, and I think this is one of the bigger mistakes too that I made was not using the easy option. And this I did not use the easy option because this is what I read and read it, and everyone was like. Always hit good, rarely ever hit easy, and that's what they told me. I mean, they testified to everybody, and I was like, okay, I'm never gonna hit easy. And I always hit space bar, always hit good, sometimes hit hard, um, but I never hit easy, even though the car was easy. And the problem with this was that you end up seeing the cars a lot more than you need to. Um, so for each card, I'm gonna go into the, my, my laptop and show you guys right now. For each card, um, I'm going to show you the ease of the card. Usually when you start out, this will be 2500 because that's the default setting. And if you didn't change it, it's going to be 2500. Every time you hit again, every time you get a card wrong, every time you hit again, it's going to actually subtract the ease of the card. So it's going to go from 2500 to about 2300. So I think I noticed that, and don't quote me on this, but every time you hit again, it's going to subtract 200 from the ease. Every time you hit hard, it's going subtract about 50, I think, maybe 100. Every time you hit good, which is a space bar, or just a normal default option, it doesn't change the ease. Okay? When you hit easy, it's actually just add 200 to the ease. Okay? So the problem was that you don't hit easy, is that let's say you get a card wrong, let's say you laughed it after a month in. So the ease dropped down from 2500 to 2300. Okay? And then you never hit ease. Easy, you keep hitting good, even though you saw the card, it's gonna drop down to zero. You see it in three days, you see it in six days, you see it in nine days, and it's really easy for you. But you just you, you listen to people and you're like, I don't want to hit easy. So, yeah, easy gonna stay at 2300, right? Um, because you never hit easy, you hit easy, you went back to 2500. Um, and then you last it again later, so now you went from 2300 to 2100. Okay, so if you keep lasting that card. You're gonna end up with like a really low ease in the card because you never hit easy and you're gonna see the card way more often than you need to. You're supposed like a lot of people misconception you have people with have on is that you, you're not supposed to get a card wrong, you like you're supposed to remember it really well, but no, you're supposed to get a card wrong. Every time you get a card wrong, right, and it lasts and reset the interval for you, and then you're gonna see the card up more often again, right? So I'm gonna show you the, the, the memory curve, the forgetting curve. So every time you it decreases and you last it, you're gonna see the card again, so it's gonna come back up. And the act that actually gonna decrease the, the decay ratio. So every time you last the card, it's actually gonna help you retain the info longer. So you're supposed to last the card, okay? And the problem is that when you're not hitting easy, because it should be easy because you've seen the card already many, many times. So when you last the card and you see it again three days later, it should be easy for you, for you because you should have eat, you should have remembered it better. Right? That's the whole point of doing Anki. That's the whole point of reconsolidation. Your memory is reconsolidating the information. So you should remember it. So definitely hit the easy button, guys. Don't mess up your ease. This is how you lead to ease hell. I'm going to link you a video to Anki. This video, I think he made a really good video about uh, ease hell. And he tell you how to get out of ease hell. Um, so definitely check that video out. But this is going to prevent you from getting to ease hell that a lot of Anki users have. Another second mistake that, that I made, and that I think a lot of you guys made, is just not turning up your interval um, choices. So like, you know, so on the on the lower button, so every time you answer a question, it's gonna give you good hard easy and stuff, and it's gonna tell you how long before you see it again for so like three days, ten days, fifteen days, so like a month from now. And I found that if you don't turn that option off, it's gonna influence how you answer the the card, right? So instead of it's actually was the car actually hard for you? Is that why you picked the second answer, or is it just because you want to see it in five days instead of ten days? You know, and a lot of people actually, a lot of beginning beginner Anki users actually get scared when they see the interval so far away. 
and they end up, you know, not picking easy or not picking good because they're like, I don't want to see Picard three months from now, I want to see it one and a half months from now, so they pick hard. Um, so, and it, a friend of mine actually, you know, went through and hit hard. Every time you see a card, even though he knows it really well, um, because he, he wanted to see it on the cards again, you know, for lectures, because he's afraid of missing card, of getting it wrong. So he was hitting hard ball of math. And remember, back to my first point, every time you hit hard or again, actually decrease the ease of the card. And that's gonna mess up the algorithm and that's gonna give you, put you into ease hell, where you'll be seeing a lot more cards than you need to. So, I would say if you're starting out, turn off the interval. Um, let me show you guys do it on the laptop. Uh, so just bear with me here. Okay, and just go in there, go to the option, turn it off, and it'll make your life better. And then, so an exception to this would be, so I turned mine off, but I actually recently turned it back on. Why? Because um, I actually uncapped my max interval. So before I had it at um, four months, but I Recently, I actually uncapped it because I'm going to dedicate it and I don't want to be seeing cards again. Um, I want to keep using the cards, so I actually uncapped it to like years from now. So I want I turn it back on so I can see the interval. And so for cards that I actually want to see again, I actually use the app, the add on rememorize, and make sure I see the cards again before my step one date. So that's the, the that would be the only exception that I would say, but um, other than that, you're not going to be you know, you have. You're not worried about not seeing the card again before your step one. Um, turn it off. You know it's gonna mess. It's gonna mess. You're not gonna be honest with your answer choices if you have it on. And that's my personal experience. So try turning it off and see if you actually more honest with yourself. Okay, so another mistake that I definitely made is uh, when I started out using Anki is that I didn't try to learn the material and understand the material before I started reviewing the cards. I just want to forget, get through all the cards. Because um, I want to get done for a day, I want to get see other cards before my exam date, and that's actually a big mistake because you actually end up not understanding the card the concept well, and you actually end up missing the cards a lot more than you need to later on down the line. So actually, the time that you think you save by just straight up going straight to the card and not spending time um, during the beginning part to really learn the concepts, actually gonna hurt you later on because you have to do the cards a lot of time. And you need to eventually learn the concept again anyway because you're just sick of getting the card wrong. So I say definitely don't make the mistake. Spend the beginning part just learning about the concept, understand about the concept first, um, and then do the cards. You know, sometimes you can't do the card in one day. You have to do the cards the next day, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, learn the concept first. It's gonna make your life way easier down the line. You you not you're not wasting that much time. You should save yourself a lot more time by not getting cards wrong later on down the line. So keep that in mind guys, don't be like me. Fourth mistake that people are making is not, they are not using Anki as a space repetition tool. And that's like literally the whole point of using Anki in the first place. If you're not using Anki as a space repetition tool, you just want to use flashcards. There are way better apps out there like Quizlets or uh, I think Quizlet is a great note card, flashcard app because it's just way more intuitive. You can use it easier. Um, there's a lot of decks that people share out there and just like different options you can do to learn like they have like multiple choice and like from the blanket all this stuff that's crazy like Anki doesn't have any of that and it's like way easier to use so you just want to use like a flash card thing flashcard apps that you can use and uh, study from definitely don't use Anki um, use Anki for its powerful algorithm of space repetition that will help you retain information uh, because Anki has a high learning curve for speed. Um, so if you're just gonna use flashcards, you just want flashcard stuff, do quiz with, stay away from Anki. Otherwise, you gotta use Anki correctly and use it as a space repetition tools review. Last but not least, final mistake that I wanna talk about, big mistake, is that people just, I, me too, you know, me and my friends, we you just end up worrying about the best deck to use, the best Anki deck to use. You know, like Zonki or Lightyear or Solzy or I don't know what to use. I'll say, don't freak out about it, don't fret about it because those people have, they still did great in their step one exam. Just pick a comprehensive deck, stick with it. Not every deck can have everything. And it's up to the individual who uses it and just their time and how well they, how good they are at taking exams. So 
other little details that you're afraid of missing is all going to be filled in later when you're doing your questions during the dedicated time. Um, and just a question bank that's going to fill in the little gap that you that, that the decks might miss because no one no decks is going to be totally comprehensive. So just keep that in mind. Don't don't jump back and forth between the two decks. Don't try to don't waste time trying to like fill in between the gaps. Just pick a deck, Bros or New World, uh, Bros or Zanki or Lightyear or whatever. Do them and just focus on doing questions in the New World explanations when you do them. Um, to fill a little blank, little gaps that the deck doesn't have. But that's what it happened, you guys. Um, remember, Anki is a tool. You want to use it and don't let it use you. Um, use the different add-ons to help you further along your progress. There's no really an exact science to doing it. You know, different people have different ways of doing it. But I feel like these mistakes were one that I wish I didn't make when I started out. And I just want to share with you guys. If you have any further questions about Anki, you know, put, put them in the comments. I try to make videos about them. Um, if you like this video, make sure you leave me a thumbs up so that I know. Um, leave me in comments. Uh, that letting you know if you, if you really love it. And just subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notifications so you can see the next upload. A lot more videos will be going out. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.